some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. And let's check out a breakdown, looking at some stats for him. And the biggest takeaway when you look at his numbers is how good his three-point shooting has been in the past five games. He's finding the open spots on the perimeter, and when he's getting good looks, boy, he is not missing. Now the starting group for the visitors. Magician is out there with prime time. Then it's the machine, and there's the great, and it's Johnson in at the five down low. They've got Doc. A train is out there with Captain Clutch, and it's the dude, and it's Anderson in at the point guard. Clark, you'd think that team chemistry would just improve as the season goes along, but maybe go. not if you have personality issues in that locker room. You know, Kevin, it's one of the most fragile elements in team sports, chemistry, culture accepting roles, sacrificing your own individual game for the good of the team. And I think it's always a work in progress. And as a leader, as I know you were when you played, I'm sure you were dealing with those things all season long. Yeah, you try to lead by example, but also there's opportunity in times when you have to step up and voice what you do. Oh, 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 oh my great goodness, that was special. A oh, fantastic dunk, and, and he hangs around up there just for a little camera time. Yeah, maybe he didn't want to land awkwardly. Who knows? But there he is, and we see it very clearly. Either that guy's or he wanted the photographers to get a good shot of it. Here's Howard. Pass to Kane. Here's the machine. Passes it to Howard. Let's a floater go, and then Johnson with the dunk. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Pass to Matthews. Here's a train. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. It's deflected. So first quarter just over a minute and a half in. Kane the pass to Howard. Here's Magician looking at his point production. He averages almost eight points a game. Here's a train. And he stepped in the line so they turn it over. gone two for four from the field so far today. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. Inside. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And, of course, always keeping an eye on the top rookies in the league. We get a chance to see the first-year players with the most steals this season. You take a look at Matthews. Opposing teams always need to know where he is on the court. How about the anticipation and really his aggressive mindset defensively? He's always pressuring, always looking for an opportunity to force a turnover. Yeah, and I think it's a unique talent and instinct he has. I mean, timing out the dribble, seeing the pass before it happens. Really excellent hands when he goes to strip the ball. And I think he's only going to get better. Here's Magician. He's covered by Matthews. Anderson against Howard. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And while we have a chance, how about the numbers for Doc? Seventh in field goal percentage. And he's right up there in the top 20 in scoring. Certainly a force to be reckoned with offensively. And back to his phenomenal efficiency from three. Top 10 in the league. His consistent shooting creates so many openings in the defense. Left side, Anderson. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Anderson's gone. One of three shooting so far. Here's Magician. Unloads from 13. The shot missing. Here's A-Train. They get the rebound. Here's Captain Clutch. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Here's Magician. 
That one off the back iron and out. Gone 102 from long range in the first quarter. Anderson passes to Captain Clutch. Back to Anderson. Lock at six. Here's Matthews. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Every time I had a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Changes here. Dancers. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. They've had a very slow start to the season so far, down in the bottom half of the conference. Howard, the pass to Johnson. That's tipped. Fast break, here they come. Pushing it up. Here's Doc. Nice pass. Led into the rack perfectly for the layup. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Bounce pass Howard. Out to the wing. Kicks it out to Johnson. And there's the pass to Howard. Five on the clock. Over Anderson. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Here's the closer. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Pass to Doc. Here's G. For three. Kane grabs the board gone just two of seven so far a little bit of a slow start for them kicks it to Howard two minutes unable to get that one here's the closer he's been patient so far nothing on the scoreboard yet the fader the rebound by Johnson a mere 25% from the floor in this first quarter. Kane, the pass to Howard. There's 126 left to play here in the first. Pass to the prodigy. That shot off. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dog? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Yes, indeedy. Well done. You know, trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Boys 
checked in for Anderson. Greg. Backing up the points down low, well, that's exactly what these guys have done this season. Check out the top scoring big men in the NBA. Take a look at Doc, a top five scorer in the league. What a player he is. You know, there are different styles among those big men, but they have one thing very much in common. They can dominate offensively, face up or back to the basket. They can get it done. Which is what makes that such an interesting collection of players for me. So much contrast in their methods, but success all around. It goes to show how many different ways there are to get it done in the post. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You got to be tougher defensively. There's 37 seconds left here in the first quarter. Cowboy takes the 13 footer. He hangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. Easy little jumper for him right there, guys. The prodigy passes to Johnson. 16 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's the prodigy. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And that's just great work there to get in the shooter's space and then go and corral that backboard. And we reach the end of the first quarter. The home team up four. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. Nine times out of ten, he gonna... And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. Guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. Yeah, and you know, when the team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. Analytics, Clark, are such a major factor for coaching staffs and scouting staffs and plenty of microanalysis to go around, but some statistics can actually be a little bit misleading, don't you think? Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin, and you can talk torture the numbers to say whatever you want them to say so you have to be careful I think there's a great place for analytics in the game it's very useful in some areas but you have to balance it there has to be a blend there take for instance shot blocking just because you don't block a shot that sometimes can uh, dismiss what changing shots do to a team's defense or for a team's defense um, the number of threes being taken effective field goal percentage is more important than raw field goal percentage because of threes. They've got the closer. The quick is out there with Rain Man and there's Doc and it's Cowboy in at the shooting guard. Slim is out there with Elliott. Then it's Johnson. Then it's the machine and it's Kane in at the small forward position. And the pass to Weaver to the wing on the left. Here is Doc. He's guarded by Johnson. Weaver the pass to Cowboy. The offensive rebound. Here's Doc. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for Magicians checked in for Kane. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Here is Slim. 11 points for him in that last game against Portland. Magician passes to Elliott. Six on the shot clock. 
Here's Slim, open and close Slim. and nails it. Slim's got his first bucket in this one. The defense just too soft on that possession. You have to be closer and contest at the rim. Here's Captain Clutch. He picked up 15 points in their last win against the Knicks in New York. Can't hit the step back jump shot. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. Matthews with the steal. And they're running. Jumps up. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. Here is Slim. He's covered by Matthews. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Wow. Wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. Two shots. First free throw is good. A train he's checked in for Cowboy. He hits both from the stripe. Gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Being a lackluster 38% for the game struggling so far. Slim and good that time. Slim's got six. A, a tough start scoring the basketball but they're starting to turn it around now. Yeah it looks like they've gained a little bit of confidence as the lid has come off the hoop. Puts up a three. That one's no good. That makes him one for two. Gone a nice three of three to start the second. Guy is a potent offense right now. You know what, guys? And they're playing with a certain amount of assuredness in their game. That type of confidence is what leads teams to having success. Can't hit from 12. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played, and the basket is good. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. Johnson, the pass to Slim. Makes it off the glass. Slim's got eight points here in this quarter. Yep, you know, after a scoreless first period, he's really turned it up a notch, building some momentum. Baseline jumper. That one doesn't drop. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you could see the frustration on his face. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Outside Matthews passes it to Captain Clutch. They get it back. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's his first personal foul. Uh, who do you think is the best center right now spacing the floor and also embracing the traditional responsibilities of a center? Well, I tell you, it wasn't until the playoffs of this past season that I got to see Shoot Jokic. Two. My goodness, he is a Something, joy wow. to watch. His footwork, his shot making, his skill. And I think his passing is probably the best attribute of his game. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I would put him in that category because he can make the deep three. Embiid is streaky from there. Uh, in terms of the balanced approach, I think probably um, you could throw Carl Anthony Towns in that mix. Good names. And so he's able to get one of two. Gone five of six so far from the field in the second quarter. Here's the prodigy. Second shot opportunity. And the layup is up and in. 
The Prodigy's got his first points of the night. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Anderson with the ball. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Knicks in New York. Boy, I thought his passing was absolutely fantastic. I mean, really picked apart the defense all game long. Clock at four. Fades back. A rebound by Johnson. Gone six of eight from the field in the second quarter. Down low. Here's the machine. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Here's the prodigy. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Now Howard, pass to Johnson, over Anderson, a shot by Johnson, no good, gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Here's G, he's guarded by Johnson. G passes to Captain Clutch, count the basket. Well, you gotta do more than that to keep the ball out of his hands down low. Exactly, I mean, deny him the ball in the first place, don't let him get it. Anderson against Howard. To the inside, Johnson. Oh, good on that one. And G has it in the corner. Floats one up. And no good. Gone 7 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Howard, the pass to the prodigy. Here's Magician. Pass to Howard. For the three. That shot off. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. The home team, they lead by one. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Taking a look at this home squad. Kenny, what did you see from them? Defensively, they did a great job of contesting shots and making things difficult. They faced several attempted runs, and they came up with key, key stops. It was punch counter punch there for a while, and it's close, but the fight is going on. Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. Well, I didn't even know who some of these guys were, but their bench came up with some big shots. Gave the team a lift offensively. It's always possible those guys will see more minutes in the second half, but at the same time, you're a starter. You're a starter for a reason. We shall see, Ernie. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. It's been quite a game for Slim. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. Just 34% from the floor. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. A-Train is out there with Captain Clutch. Then there's Anderson, and it's the dude, and it's Doc in at the five, roaming the paint. Shot clock at five. Anderson with the ball, and it's Howard picking him up. Count that one. Anderson's got five. Anderson! 43% for the game. Here's Magician. Out left to the wing. 
Howard against Anderson. The pass to Kane. Shoots a three. The shot comes out. And here's the fast break. Here's Matthews. Cranes the jumper to finish the break. Matthews has got his second basket. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. And Howard, here we go. And it's slammed in by Howard. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. Captain Clutch has gone just one for seven shooting tonight. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points, so one free throw coming up. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. Yeah, he imposed his will on the defense that time. He was not going to be denied right there. Elliott's checked in for the Magician. And it's tied up with that one. And Clark, when you look at how the game has changed, if you were entering the league today, how would you reshape your skill set? Well, the biggest part would be expanding my shooting range. I was a good shooter at the time that I played, but would need to expand it and was just starting to stretch out my shooting to the three-point line. And then also defensively, be a little more committed to that end of the floor, really working to get better there. But ball handling, passing, scoring, rebounding, those were things that I did pretty well. Here's Kane. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And, and you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. As a matter of fact, a lot of his points came from the stripe. He was feeling it. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Rain Man checked in for Captain Clutch. <laughs> and the second free throw, good. gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. Pass to Matthews. There's the three. The rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Kane, the pass to Elliott. A miss that time. Would have put him up. Here's the closer. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Pass to Rainman. Back to Matthews. Here's Rain Man. The pass to Cowboy. Here is Doc. Weaver the pass to Rain Man. 16 feet away. It's good. Boy, you look at the defense. Not nearly the hustle or energy at that end of the floor. It's the exact opposite of what it was in the first half. Elliott against Matthews. Elliott the bucket. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Cowboy! And, and they've got to keep him off the glass. For a little guy, he can be a handful on the offensive boards if you're not aware of him. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. On the high post. That one's not going to go. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I, I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Cowboy passes to Weaver. Now here's Matthews. He's guarded closely. Foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. This is his first free throw of the game. Okay. At the line. Matthews. 
two shots. That one is off. So it's both teams making substitutions here. He's good on the second. Here is Slim. Ten points for him. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Here's the prodigy. Six to shoot. Here's Johnson. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. You've got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. Outside Matthews. And the call will go against the great. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Here is Doc. He's guarded by Johnson. Doc the pass to G. Shot clock at six. Shoots the three. But they'll get another chance. Here's Matthews. Well, I don't think he's performing up to his own expectations, but they still find themselves out in front. Passes it to the prodigy. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. And here's Matthews. He has seven, launches it. Good on the triple. Mobley's got his second basket of the night. Yeah, it's such a sweet three-point stroke there, and it can really open things up inside because as good as he shoots it, it forces the opposing bigs to have to step out on the perimeter. here how about the stats for G he's around 10 points per game two assists and three rebounds and you can't help but be impressed by his numbers you know guys I think he's the engine of this offense he makes them go without his scoring I think they'd be a totally different team here's the prodigy sweet little floated the prodigy's got six boy that was a sweet looking teardrop there's very little defense for that Weaver the pass to Anderson. 103 left to play here in the third. Here's the break. Here's the prodigy. Plays it in off the breakaway. Eight points for him. And you know what? He's shaken off the cold shooting performance from the first half. Anderson outside. Forty one seconds left in the third quarter. Lock at six. Shoots from the line. Kane grabs the board. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Magician from outside off the mark. Gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Now here's Anderson. He's got five. 12 seconds left in the third. Pass to Weaver. Here is Doc. Here's G. A three-pointer off the mark. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. The away team, they're up by one. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us.
Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Here's the prodigy, the great out there with the magician. Then there's the prodigy, and it's prime time. And it's Johnson in at the center position. They get it back. You know, you don't always get that opportunity, so those are the ones you hate to miss. Scooped up, and I down it goes, jamming that one home. Neither team here in the fourth generating a lot of separation. Yeah, it's been a close one. Five times the lead has switched hands thus far. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. Howard's got three assists now in this one. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind a layup. Come on now. My goodness. Here's A-Train. Can't hit from 12. You look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. The prodigy passes to Howard. And the three off target. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. The prodigy passes to Johnson, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. At the line, Johnson. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Johnson. Cowboys checked in for G. That one misses. He should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. Here's the floater. Got a piece of it. And it's going to be out of bounds. No keep possession. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Anderson outside. And there's the pass to Cowboy. To the middle. Four on the clock. It's blocked. And he recovers it. That one goes in. Gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. It's Howard, top of the key. Passes it to Magician. Here's the machine. Shot from 12. A shot, no good. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Here's Howard. That one falls. Coming off the Johnson feed. You gotta love his hustle. Leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Pass to Mobley. A three-pointer no good. Thing in the fourth quarter has looked shabby. 38%. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Lover the pass to Howard. 
Just five on the clock. Fires the three. Another miss by Howard. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Howard against Anderson. And he converts the layup. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling time out to kind of let them catch their breath. Jordan player of the game, the quick. And he's put on a terrific show of skill in the paint. A combination of moves, footwork, and that soft touch down low. It's all added up to one dominant performance for the big fella. Kane, he's checked in for Pete. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, during the break, I was able to catch the message the visiting team coach gave to his team. He knows this has been a hard-fought game, and he wanted his guys to just sit down and catch their breath. He said, look, we're right in the game, guys. Let's make a little push here. Let's come out with some bite. Kevin? Thank you, David. And, and offensively, they seem to have turned a corner. Yeah, I don't know if it's coincidence or not, but a much better half since they changed hoops. And they're really looking strong here. Free throw, good, Anderson. Gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Howard. 17-foot shot on the way. Good on the jump shot. Howard's got four points now in the quarter. Nice play call there. Down the stretch, getting him the open look. Yeah, I put that one on the defense. I mean, they can't leave him open at this stage. Here's Captain Clutch. He's guarded by Johnson. Anderson right side. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. That's one he knows he should have drained. Now the pass to Magician. 143 left in the game. Out to the right wing. Here's Kane. From deep three-point range. Not going to go that time. Gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. And stolen by Howard. One twelve left in the fourth quarter of this one. Anderson with the block. To the paint. Yes! Captain Clutch! And a long wind-up and strong follow-through on the one-hand jam. Yeah, he's not going to mess that one up. I certainly hope not. 51 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Magician. Money! Fundamentals, guys, using the one-hand slam. Well, he makes the basics look pretty exceptional. And, Kevin, I'd suggest that he stay with those basics because we've got a tight one here tonight. Three for Matthews. Buries the long-range jumper. Kick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Howard against Anderson. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first first At the line. Howard. Two shots. 
So the first one drops and that brings them within five. And so Howard nails both of them. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And that's an intentional foul. That's his second personal foul. Here's Captain Clutch, and he commits the intentional foul. That's his third personal foul. At the line, Captain Clutch. Two, Two shots. shots. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. What's your take, guys? Yeah, trying to get back in this thing, they need a score. Yeah, and they need it hiccup fast. I mean, they'll be drawing up a quick hitter in the huddle here, no doubt. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Down low, here's the machine. Count it! And that is textbook perfect, the bounce pass. Exactly how you want to throw it. 15 seconds left in the fourth. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. Sure. It's not over. The clock is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Second one is good, hitting both at the line, and it's a five-point game. And that's the knockout blow right there, guys. Those free throws should put this one away. Kane, the pass to Howard. Here's Kane. Here's Magician. Off target from outside. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans. But in the end, everyone's satisfied. Uh, I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on. But let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to it in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And that about wraps it up. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.